Hey, what is up guys? Today I bring you excellent news because the SIM free iPhone 10 is now available. This is the iPhone we've been waiting for and you can find it by going to Apple's online store, going to iPhone 10, clicking on that, loading up their really cool web page, clicking on buy, and now finally, finally, almost pretty much exactly a month after its release, if you click on select, you will now see the option to buy without a carrier. So the SIM-free iPhone 10 is a factory unlocked iPhone. It arrives completely unlocked out of the box. It'll work on any network here in the United States. It is model A1865. It contains both GSM and CDMA antenna bands. And guys, this is the iPhone to get. This is what we've been waiting for. Anyone who uses their phone off contract, this is the dream phone. Just because it has so many antenna bands, it works with so many carriers, and it will not lock to any network. So previously, getting an unlocked phone was actually kind of hard. Um, I made a video about what to get when you were trying to pre-order. Uh, basically, you wanted the Verizon iPhone. But unfortunately, the Verizon model iPhone 10 required a Verizon account to pre-order. And the same was true for these Sprint and AT&T models as well. So the only iPhone 10 you could pre-order without an existing account was the T-Mobile model. However, if we go on over to tech specs, we can actually see under the uh, antenna bands that model A1901, this is the T-Mobile model iPhone 10, it doesn't support CDMA networks. So this is not ideal for users who want to use the iPhone 10 on prepaid carriers that use CDMA networks like Verizon Prepaid or maybe like other off-contract providers like Tello or Twigby, uh, maybe TPO Mobile. Those providers would not work with this model iPhone. So that was very unfortunate. Now I did test this and uh, funny enough, it actually did work because the LTE bands are the same. Um, actually, I'm going to go back to that page. You can see uh, the LTE bands up here. The phones have the same LTE bands, and the LTE network technology is the same across all four providers. So when I went to Will My Phone Work and I checked, it turns out the T-Mobile iPhone, it did connect to the LTE network's on the Verizon network, but because it didn't have the CDMA antenna bands, it would not connect to older network technologies like the 2G and 3G networks, thus significantly reducing the coverage area. So this was not ideal, but it was okay if you wanted to use the phone with a GSM provider like Cricket, MetroPCS, or MintSim. Now the other option that many people considered was perhaps getting the Best Buy iPhone 10. Now, I made a video about this as well, and pretty much what happened with the Best Buy iPhone 10, it's what's called a universal iPhone 10. And that means it actually locks to the first network it connects to. The way around this is to use a Verizon SIM card during the initial boot up and activation process. The reasoning behind this is Verizon does not lock any of their LTE devices so in effect, the phone would remain unlocked by using a Verizon SIM for that initial boot up process. But not everyone has access to a Verizon SIM card, so that was not really ideal. Best Buy, kind of ripping you off. Um, Apple didn't have the one you wanted available, but now, today guys, it is available. The SIM-free iPhone 10 is available from Apple. If you actually select it, uh, you go through the order process. You can see uh, delivery dates are currently at December 13th. So that's eight days from today, which is pretty exciting. Of course, you could try and see availability in stores and try and pick one up locally. Um, otherwise, ordering online is the way to go. Again, SIM free, completely unlocked, out of the box, works with any carrier. And what's interesting is you can now order the Verizon model, it looks like, without requiring a Verizon account. So when you went to pre-order the iPhone 10 on Verizon, you did need a Verizon account, but now it looks like you can just click continue. You can either prepare for carrier activation now or activate with your carrier later, and Apple will let you actually check out with this iPhone. If I go back, it says when you receive the new phone, you'll need to insert an active SIM card or set it up uh, or set up a new account with a carrier. So this kind of looks like uh, an unlocked iPhone as well. 
I don't know why this option is suddenly available now while it wasn't for the pre-order, but it doesn't matter. Again, the SIM-free model iPhone X is available. This is the one you want. It's going to be awesome. Uh, something really cool, if you didn't know this, you can actually go to apple.com slash iPhone uh, slash LTE, and this lists the network compatibility, and you can see the iPhone X, the A1865 model. This is the SIM-free model. It has all of these LTE bands, works in the United States, works on all of these supported networks, all of these international networks, and because it has these same antenna bands as the A1901, it will also work on all of these networks as well. So this really is a truly universal and global phone. Really awesome to see this from Apple. This is one of the reasons that makes the iPhone so great, is just how compatible it is across different cellular providers globally. Really great to see this. So that wraps up this video, guys. Again, the SIM-free model iPhone 10 is available now, one month after the official release of the iPhone. Sad to see it so late. Uh, I really wish Apple would kind of prioritize this and make it available sooner, but there you go. It's available now, and yeah, that wraps up this video. If you found it helpful, please feel free to give it a thumbs up down below. Uh, consider sharing this video for anyone looking to purchase a factory unlocked SIM-free model iPhone 10, and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.